we need to show the derivative of y with respect to x is given by this particular expression whenever y is equals to x times sine of a plus y. So let's begin. So we will start on whatever we have been provided with. So here we have our function y given in its implicit form, which was x times sine of a plus y. Now what we'll do, we'll consider this to be as equation number one. We'll take the derivative on both sides with respect to x. So here we'll have to take the derivative of x times sine e plus y. That means we'll have to use the product rule. So we'll have x times derivative with respect to x of sine of a plus y added to sine of a plus y multiplied to derivative of x with respect to x which will be equals to sine of x times and we have derivative of a sine function which is cosine function now since we have sine of a plus y its derivative will be cosine of a plus y but because we have a plus y we'll also need to use the chain rule and multiply it to derivative with respect to x of a plus y plus sine of a plus y now here derivative of x with respect to x that's one this will give us x times cosine of a plus y multiplied to derivative of a with respect to x that's zero and we have derivative of y with respect to x plus sine of a plus y we have now derivative of y with respect to x given by this particular expression we'll transpose the first term from the right left right hand side to the left hand side and combine it with derivative of y with respect to x to get 1 minus x times cosine of a plus y. This will be equals to sine of a plus y. This gives us derivative of y with respect to x equals to sine of a plus y divided by 1 minus x times cosine of a plus y. So we have obtained derivative of y with respect to x. But if we look at the expression here, we need sine squared a plus y in the numerator. So what we'll do, we'll multiply both numerator and the denominator with sine a plus y such that we get sine squared a plus y in the numerator. This will be divided by sine of a plus y. We're multiplying each term in the denominator with sine a plus y minus x times sine of a plus y times cosine of a plus y now we have x times sine of a plus y in the second term of the denominator which we can replace with y as obtained in equation number one now that means we finally get derivative of y with respect to x equals to sine squared of a plus y divided by sine a plus y minus so x times sine a plus y will become y multiply to cosine of a plus y so this is what we were asked to prove hence we have successfully proved